Hey guys, welcome back to Miss Skinny TV. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Karen. All right, so today I will be testing out the As I Am hair care line that's all bars. So the shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, and a co-wash is all in a bar form. Okay, so my hair is wet and I'm gonna go in with the shampoo bar. Smells really good. This is what it looks like. And it says, wet as I am shampoo bar with water and apply while in a shower to soak hair. Slide the bar several times along the length of hair. Lather and gently massage scalp with fingertips as you would a conventional shampoo. Rinse and follow with the as I am conditioner bar and leave-in conditioner. So that's a really nice lather, so I'm just going to keep working this in and then rinse it out and come back. Alright, so it smells exactly the same. And this is what it looks like. Oh, there's no markings on it, like the other one. But anyway, this is what it looks like. It says, wet the bar with water and apply while in the shower to soak hair. Section by section, slide the bar several times along the length of the hair. Detangle hair with a wide tooth comb. Rinse and follow with a leave-in conditioner bar. All right, so I'm gonna just keep rubbing this over my hair and I'll be back. All right, so now I have the leave-in conditioner bar. And the direction says, Wet the As I Am leave-in conditioner bar with water. Apply well in a shower right after using the As I Am shampoo bar and co-wash bar. Or co-wash bar. Hair should be soaked with water before application. Section by section, slide the bar several times along the length of the hair. Comb through hair and proceed to styling using the As I Am products. It smells the same just like the shampoo and conditioner. All right, so I'm done putting in the leave-in conditioner and it is kind of hard to like kind of get a groove or like a way to do it that seems efficient. Um, but overall, like my hair does feel soft. Um, I'm not gonna let it air dry. I'm gonna actually blow dry my hair and blow it out. Um, but I'll see how my hair feels after I blow dry it to see if it feels like stiff or um, feel like not necessarily hay, but like just feels, you know, like heavy product buildup or if it's going to feel lightweight and soft. All right, so from this section, this piece alone, definitely with the leave-in conditioner, I would suggest keep your hair in your natural curly state because it feels like, now that my hair is blow dried, it feels waxy, like it feels like there's a wax film over my hair and I don't like that feeling and I kind of want to wash my hair out but I'm just gonna leave it be and then I'm just gonna add some oil to it because my hair is most likely I'm probably gonna just braid it up um, for the week and that's it so yeah leave your hair in its natural curly state if you're gonna use a leave-in conditioner bar because blow drying it, your hair is just gonna, it's, it feels like there's product on my hair, but it, like it has like a waxy film type feeling, so. All right, so now that I've blow dried my hair and I've added some oil to it, the waxy feeling kind of went away. Um, it's not as bad, you still kind of feel it, but it's not as bad as before. So for the first one, which is the shampoo bar, um, it's moisturizing, it's non-stripping, and it has a very quick lather. So after the second and third time, it just lathered up even more easily, and um, I got a nice clean feeling after using it, and my hair definitely feels moist, felt moisturized afterwards. So the next product that I used was a conditioner bar, and the conditioner bar, it glided on pretty easily. It didn't have much of a slip though, um, and I had to re-wet it quite a few times, like just to like get it through my hair, and then like just massage it through my hair. And I let it sit for about two to three minutes, and then I rinsed it out. On rinsing it out, my hair definitely felt moisturized and soft. Um, the detangling part of it was a little bit hard because it, it's not like regular conditioner where I can get that extra slip to help with the detangling process. Um, 
But overall, I really like the conditioner and the shampoo. Now for the leave-in conditioner. Leave-in conditioner, the process of that was a little bit weird for me at least because I've never used a leave-in conditioner bar. But for the most part, as long as your hair is wet or at least damp, you can glide it through. You definitely want to wet it first. So I had to wet it quite a few times just to get through each section and then detangle my hair. Um, the only thing is my hair, it tends to dry pretty quickly. So I have to keep moisturizing it as I'm putting the leave-in conditioner on. And I try to evenly just pass it through my hair or at least rub it on my hair and then comb, comb through it just to make sure that it's being evenly dispersed. Because it is a little bit weird or at least different for me because I'm used to either cream leave-in conditioner or spray leave-in conditioner. Never used a bar leave-in conditioner before. Um, it does keep the hair soft and moisturized but I will say that you should definitely keep your hair in its natural curly state if you are going to use this bar because when you blow dry your hair it has like a waxy film which I was able to kind of fix that with um, just adding oil to my hair and it feels much better than um, when it was just by itself with nothing on there but the leave-in conditioner. So overall I really like the so I really like the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, I'm definitely going to keep using them again. I feel like I would only use a leave-in conditioner if I am going to be leaving my hair in its curly state. And the other product that I didn't use was the co-wash and that's only because you only use co-wash when it's in between major washes. So, But if you guys want to check out these products, you can definitely find them online. I'm not sure if they're at Target or Walmart yet because I bought them off of their website. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.